Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on the latest 4.3.4 firmware. Now before we begin, there are a couple of things I do want to go over. First of all, the jailbreak we're going to be using, Red Snow, does not support all devices. So what it does support is the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and the iPad 1. This does not currently support the iPad 2. On top of that, this is a tethered jailbreak. Now, if you're not familiar with what that means, basically every single time you turn off your device, and not just locking it, but actually turning it off if it runs out of battery or for whatever reason, you will need to rerun the program. So, it's not a big deal. I've certainly used tethered jailbreaks in the past. It's not a big deal. But what it is, is a bit of an annoyance. So, you definitely should keep that in mind. Now, because I know I'm going to be asked this question a lot, if you are already on some earlier version of iOS, like 4.3.3, there is literally no reason to update to 4.3.4. All that will do is just give you a lot of headaches and you'll be forced to use this tethered jailbreak which is a little bit more complicated of course than jailbreak me so what I highly recommend is if you have the choice stay away from 4.3.4 to do the jailbreak you will need two things first of all you will need the red snow program itself now this is available for both Windows and Mac and this tutorial should apply equally to both operating systems uh, so of course you will be able to download that from the link in the description and on top of that you will also be able to download the 4.3.4 IPSW also known as your firmware file now you very well may already have this uh, file on your computer in which case I will have another link in the description showing you how to find it otherwise you can just be able to download it really quite simply so whichever way is easiest for you alright so once you're ready to begin there's one other step if you're on Windows and this is going to be really quick uh, if you're on Windows Vista or Windows 7 you need to right click the ex executable file and hit properties you need to come over here to compatibility like run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. Now if you have for some reason you don't see XP Service Pack 3, you can try XP Service Pack 2 or something earlier than that, but just by doing this it will ensure that it will work. On top of that, click run this program as an administrator, click apply and click OK. If you're on Windows XP or some version of OS 10, you do not have to worry about this at all. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the program. And you will see here very simple operating, or rather very simple UI. If you've ever used Red Snow before, you will have no problem navigating this. But I will go ahead and give you guys the full tutorial anyway. So the first step is to click Browse, and we need to just find that IPSW that we downloaded and or found. So for convenience sake, I have it on my desktop, but of course wherever you have it, you just go ahead and navigate there and click Open. So it will take just a moment to process your firmware, and then you can click Next. Uh, now at this point it will patch the kernel and do a couple of other jailbreak things. This may take a couple of minutes or may take just a couple of seconds. You'll be ready to continue on. Now at this point you will see several options depending on your device. Uh, now, the most important thing is you need to make sure that Install City is checked. That is the jailbreak app store that is definitely what you want. Um, there's also install custom bundles. Uh, if you know what that is you certainly can feel free to do that but for most of you guys I'm sure you will just need to leave that unchecked. Uh, if you have an iPod Touch, you may want to enable battery percentage. I always like to do that. It's a very handy little thing. And you can also enable multitask gestures. Uh, I go ahead personally recommend that you do this. Um, all it means is in the settings tab, you can turn on multitask gestures, you know, swipe between your apps and whatnot. Uh, but of course, that's entirely optional. Uh, now down here, you'll see entered Pwn DFU mode right now and boot tethered right now. Now I'll show you guys that in a second. That is what you will do when you need to rerun Red Snow in the in the pat or in the future rather. And I will show you guys how to do that in just a minute. Alright, so once you have Install City and whatever options you have ready, go ahead and click Next and we can continue on. At this point, you should grab your iPod, iPhone, or iPad and connect it via USB to your computer. Uh, now, one thing I recommend, it's not necessary for the jailbreak to work properly, but I do recommend it, is that you should go ahead and allow iTunes to fully sync with your iPod, iPhone, or iPad to make sure that you don't lose any data in the jailbreak. Now, you shouldn't lose anything beforehand, uh, but of course, this is just a precaution. If anything goes wrong or anything like that, you will be definitely covered. All right, so once you have everything connected, we are ready to begin. Now, we're going to be putting this into DFU mode. Uh, DFU mode is simply holding the power button for three seconds, holding the power and the home for 10, and then releasing that and holding the power button, I mean the home button for about 15 seconds. Uh, I will walk you through it. Of course, the program also does have a countdown timer, so it should be very simple. All right, so let's go ahead and click next. Three seconds, so ready, set, go. Now go ahead and continue holding the power while we're still holding the home. And we'll allow that to count down for about 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Remove that and continue holding the home button. It says 15 seconds, pretty much just hold it as long as you need to until it go ahead and pops up. All right, so we're all done here. As you guys can see, it's working properly. You should get a downloading jailbreak data notification on your device. You'll see it's going to be running through a few lines of code and whatnot. And there we go. So now you guys will see all kinds of cool text that is running down your device. That is perfectly normal. That means it's worked. At this point, we can just ignore Red Snow. We're all done with that. Everything else happens on our device. 
So this will take just a few minutes to run through and get all the code ready, so I'll be right back as soon as it's done. Okay, so now that it's all done, we can go ahead and slide to unlock. You should see now see that city is installed. However, if we click on it, you'll see that it actually does not do anything yet. So there's one more step. That is to go ahead and boot tethered. So this is going to be the exact same process as we did before. Just select your IPSW file and allow it to process. And then let it prepare the jailbreak data, patch the kernel, all that kind of good stuff. But instead of running the jailbreak again and you know install city, all that kind of stuff, instead we're going to just go ahead and click just boot tethered right now. At this point, we need to put our device into DFU mode once again. Now, unlike last time when it just ran the jailbreak, instead this time it's actually going to just boot as tethered. So this will only take just a moment. So we'll go ahead and say exploiting with Lion Rain and all that kind of good stuff. And there we go. So it's going to reboot upload the kernel and we're gonna be pretty much good to go okay so we're all done now so finally if we scroll over to our last page we should have Cydia but instead of before you'll actually see an icon so we click on that it'll actually open up ask who we are so we just select whatever you like hit done and there we go guys so that's it now actually yeah I do have Wi-Fi hooked up so uh, at this point I'll just run through download all the packages all that kind of stuff but at this point we're all done just let it set up and get all the stuff downloaded and whatnot and you're fully jailbroken so anyway guys, that's it for my tutorial showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on 4.3.4. Uh, of course, if you guys have any questions, comments, problems, whatever, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you enjoyed and this video helps you out, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button.